Micro SaaS products are small one-person SaaS companies, and they make great step one businesses. By step one, of course, I'm referring to my stair-step method of entrepreneurship. One of the big benefits of Micro SaaS is it can get you started on your entrepreneurial journey, and it can start bringing money in the door quickly. In this video, my team and I have dug up six pain points that you might be able to solve with Micro SaaS. And if you've been watching for a while, you probably already know, you should stick around till the end of the video for my bonus idea that's probably a no-brainer. Idea number one is a knowledge base with multiple levels of hierarchy. I use this idea with permission, but anonymously, it's from a Tiny Seed founder who posted in our Slack. The original poster, or OP, writes, we've been using Help Scout for both our support and our knowledge base for a number of years, and we absolutely love them. We've been thinking of changing our knowledge base to be more hierarchical and have sub documents, etc. Help Scout doesn't support that, and neither do a bunch of other knowledge base systems like Intercom. Everything seems to have categories, then documents, but nothing below it. It's something I'm continually messing around with to try and find a good solution because honestly, our support doc organization is the pits. And with that limitation, the moment you have a complex application, it makes sense that you would want multiple levels of hierarchy. So is this a micro SaaS? Is it a plugin for Help Scout? Or is it perhaps a knowledge base that starts off as a small MVP and develops into a knowledge base with multiple hierarchies? Our next idea comes from Twitter user Jerem Rico, and it's customer onboarding workflow for Salesforce. The OP writes, I'm looking for customer onboarding for Salesforce. It should include collaborative integration plans. I do onboarding at my job, and it's a pain doing it over email in Excel. I'm in charge of clients connecting to our APIs for bill payments, cash transactions, et cetera, and I guide them through the process. For example, we sign an NDA, they get API keys, they do an integration, there's certification, they sign contracts, there's access to production, testing, and launch. We do all this with just Excel and email. And a few folks chimed in on this thread and suggested tools like onboard.io, arrows.2, and the OP followed up with, I had a demo with them. I wasn't sure if that was onboard.io or arrows. And the OP said, I loved it. Sadly, I'm constrained by company tools and red tape, and I'm also tied to Salesforce. Idea number three is a credit-based billing system, and it comes at us from Jeff on Twitter. Jeff Roberts writes, a credit-based billing system, you buy X number of credits and it tracks redemptions. Now in my research, I don't believe Stripe offers credit consumption. They do offer metered billing, but that's different. So the first step in this would be researching, does Stripe support this? And the second question would be, is there a way to add this on as a third-party component? I think there is. The big question is, how many people need this as an engine and how much would people be willing to pay for it? Idea number four comes from Cyril Bezley on Twitter, and they're asking for a dependency outage autoresponder. A tool where you declare your critical dependencies, for example, Vercel, Cloudflare, Supabase. Then you connect your customer support tool, Twitter DMs, email. The tool then does a status check of each service regularly, and the tool automatically answers with a predefined message during dependency downtime. Idea number five marks a second appearance for this tool. It's analytics for Supabase. This is a quick one. It comes from John Hainstock on Twitter. John says, connect your Supabase instance and see feature adoption and usage automatically per customer. Idea number six is Squarespace e-commerce discount code manager. And we dug this up on the Squarespace feature request forums. The original poster or OP writes, is there a way to generate a unique number of discount codes in batches? It's important for us to generate unique codes for our members. Creating them one by one is very time consuming. We're looking for a way to generate them in batches and ideally export them from Squarespace for easier distribution. Alternatively, we're open to importing coupons if that is possible. This post got more than 10 responses from folks wanting to do the same. And the OP was requesting this for Squarespace, but we switched over and looked at Shopify. And there are a handful of these types of apps that seem to be doing well in that ecosystem. So maybe there's opportunity in this one. In a second, I'm gonna give you the seventh bonus idea. Before I do that, I wanna tell you about our online community, MicroConf Connect. It's at microconfconnect.com. We have more than 5,000 bootstrapped and mostly bootstrapped software entrepreneurs and SaaS founders in this community. We have a free tier, a basic tier, and a premium paid tier. It's highly moderated. It's very high quality, high signal to noise ratio. And it's a worldwide community of entrepreneurs just like yourself. You should check it out, microconfconnect.com. The seventh bonus idea is a pipe drive add-in for Microsoft Outlook. We pulled this one from a pipe drive feature request. 
and the OP writes, I'm using Microsoft Outlook on Mac and Windows, using a Pipedrive add-in for Outlook to right-click on an email to automatically create a contact or a lead in Pipedrive would save me a lot of time. So we did a little research. Add-ins are Pipedrive's equivalent of plugins. And on this thread, more than 25 people piled on. They chimed in to request this same functionality. Pipedrive offered something like this before, but they deprecated it. Pipedrive's customer service recommended a plugin for Gmail because Gmail is the same as Outlook. I don't know. So this seems like an obvious need that was once filled and has been unfulfilled. Is there a void in this market? I don't know. Seems like it could be worth some research and some conversations. You might be wondering to yourself if building a microSaaS is even worth it. Shouldn't you just swing for the fences and try to build something huge? In this next video, I'm going to lay out why microSaaS just might be the right next step for you. Make sure to check it out.